This example is going to continue with the idea of expanding logarithms using the product rule, the quotient rule, and uh, maybe the power rules. We're going to start mixing these things together as the logarithms get more complicated. So in this example, I've got log base 4 of 3x to the 7th, a to the 5th, and I want to expand that out. So hopefully every logarithm in this summation is going to have a simple argument. And let's just start this off using the product rule. I'm going to say the logarithm base 4 of 3, that's the first one, plus the logarithm base 4 of x to the 7th, that's the second one, and the logarithm base 4 of a to the 5th, that's the third one. And this was all accomplished using the product rule that we were talking about earlier. Okay. Uh, now, it's not as simple as I can go. Take a look. We've got x to the 7th, a to the 5th. We can do better than this. Let's try to work this down some more, and this time we're going to be using the power rule. Okay, so power rule has to do with exponents. So let's take this. First of all, this log 4, log base 4 of 3, that's as simple as you can get. There's, there's no changing that one. But if you look at this next one, look at this 7 right there in the exponent. I can bring that 7 out in front as a multiplier. And that becomes 7 log 4 of x. And likewise, this last part becomes 5 log 4 of a because it was a to the fifth power. Okay, so there's our answer. That is as simplified as you get, can get because if you look at each one of these arguments, it's just a single number or letter. So there we go. Next example logarithm base omega of v over a w squared to the sixth power. So there's a lot going on here. One thing that might be distracting when you're looking at this is that base omega. Like, why is that even there, right? Sometimes uh, sometimes these things are weird, okay? It's not always a variable like b or 7 or um, a number. Sometimes you just get something weird. So we're going to use that weird symbol in this logarithm. Um, the first thing I want to do, though, is actually use the power rule because outside this entire thing is that power of the 6. So what you can do is you can rewrite this as log or 6 log base omega of v over a w squared, okay? Now, as you expand this out, you would need to then multiply 6 against each one of the logs. So this could become uh, 6 log omega of v minus 6 log omega of a minus 6 log omega of w squared, which can then also be expanded, right? This 6 log omega w squared part, that's actually 12 log omega w. Now, this might not be the most intuitive way to do it. And sometimes, this being a great example, we might want to approach this a little differently. I'm not going to erase that. Let's just leave that there. And I'm going to start over from the top, doing this a different way. And you can really pick whichever way you like. They both work. So I'm going to try another way of expanding this guy. Let's instead, I'm going to need more room here. Let's start with this exponent like before, but instead of just bringing it out in front uh, over here, instead I'm going to, um, I'm going to multiply it through. I'm going to distribute the exponent into the contents of the parentheses. So I'm going to say, hey, that logarithm base omega, that's really v to the sixth power on the inside over a to the sixth power and w to the twelfth power. Okay, And now you can see why this is logarithm base omega of v to the sixth um, minus, because that a is in the denominator, minus logarithm base omega of a to the sixth minus logarithm base omega of w to the twelfth, which then uh, individually you can bring all these exponents in front to make this 6 log base omega v minus 6 log base omega a minus 12 log base omega w. Okay? So whichever way you like doing it, I'm actually partial to the second method where we distribute 
the exponent inside the parentheses first. Uh, okay, so moving on, last example. I've got a natural log here. Remember what natural log is? This ln, that just means logarithm base e. Okay, And then the contents of the argument, look at this. This is a big old cube root with some stuff going on inside. And like before, let's try and turn this into just a bunch of exponents. I don't like that radical sign there. It just makes it look more complicated than it needs to be. So what if we rewrote this as natural log, and I'm going to change the way the contents are written using this property that uh, I think we've talked about this before, b to the m over n, right? m over n is the fraction, is the nth root of b to the m. Okay, that's what happens to the m and n from that fraction. They get turned into the index of a radicand, uh, the index of a radical and the exponent of the radicand. But if you just remember uh, this little symbol here, you don't need to remember the vocab. So what's happening? We've got, uh, let's see, that's going to be x to the one-third. Instead of cube root x, it's x to the one-third. Divided by a to the one-third times b. Notice that this b has a fourth there. So it's b to the four-thirds. And the reason those thirds are there in each one of these variables, one-third, one-third, four-thirds, is because of this three in the index of the radical sign. So now that it's written entirely with exponents instead of radical signs, I think this is a little easier to deal with. We just say, hey, this is a natural log of x to the one-third minus natural log of a to the one-third minus natural log of b to the four-thirds. Okay, and that's all done using, uh, what do we have here? This is really the quotient rule. And now you can see these exponents can be dealt with. We've done this before. This is just one-third natural log of x minus one-third natural log of a minus four-thirds natural log of b. And you practice this a couple of times, you'll start doing these steps much, much faster. You don't need to go through all the individual steps. And you can just look at something and say, anything that's on top, that's going to be a plus sign, right? Anything that's on bottom, that's going to be these minus signs. And those exponents, you'll be able to do those fast too.